Hello, my name is Soren Adam Matei. I'm a professor of communication at Purdue University, and I would like to tell you a story, which will explain why I created the data and science storytelling program and how it will benefit you. Once upon a time, there was a king and a queen with no children. They never wished anything more in the world than an heir to continue their name. Yet, in spite of the many love potions the king and the queen took, and in spite of all their prayers for a child, they remained barren. One day, a poor woman stopped by the main gate. It was a custom in the kingdom for barren wives to give a poor woman a coin to bless their bellies to bear a child. Not much longer after that, the queen and her retinue appeared heading for a stroll in a nearby garden. She smiled at the old wife and she looked in her purse. The queen was of the careful, some would even say miserly kind, when it came to household finances. She picked the smallest, most worn-out copper penny and tossed it at the woman. Come hither, woman, and bless my belly so that I bear my king a child and make him marry. The woman saw the copper coin rolling at her feet. Well, let us stop here. What I just told you sounds, feels, and looks like a, like a story. There are characters that you can identify with, a family trying to have children, and a less fortunate member of society always attracts sympathy. There's always a bit of drama. The queen does what she is expected to, but not quite. She does something unbefitting someone who expects a great benefit from a less fortunate human being. She is, after all, the queen. Her gesture is rather hard to swallow, isn't it? Now, what did you expect the old woman to do? Well, in a typical medieval historical scenario, the woman would, of course, take the coin, no matter how small and worn, and would bless the belly. What else could she do? Well, but if she did what is expected of her, this would not be a story. This would be a mere historical fact. It would be a narrative, but not a story. What is a story then, you might ask? Well, in my view, and by the logic of this entire course, a story is a narrative that teaches you something. However, teaching is done not by relating mere facts or by confirming beliefs that you already had. Teaching by storytelling happens when your assumptions are violated and the new explanation is proposed for what you already knew. In this case, let us say that the old woman covers her face with her robe and curses the queen and her penny pinching to conceive but not be able to deliver until she performs three tasks, or that she will not be able to conceive until, well, I leave it to your imagination. The more extravagant the twist, the greater the gap between past expectations and future events, and the more likely the story will be dramatic and the easier for you to remember it. However, this course is not about storytelling pure and simple. It is about storytelling with data. Now, how do you tell stories with data? First of all, by using surprise in the same way as I just described. State the current assumptions of the audience, then violate them with data. It works just like any other story, at least initially. What moves a data story along, however, is not only the simple violation of expectations. A data story gets real legs when you show that you have better explanations about how the world works than those that people already imagined. In this respect, a data story is a bit more complex than a regular story. Or it is on a par with very good mystery novels or movies, where after one expected climax comes a second, even better one. To learn more about data storytelling, its rules, evidence, criteria, and power to inspire, I produced four different courses. One of them is this one, Data Storytelling 101, which will clearly and rigorously define storytelling, focusing on surprise, causal explanations, and learning outcomes. The second is Building Causal Data Stories, which combines statistics with rhetoric to help you identify new stories. The third course, Narrative Composition and Visualization, gives you the technical tools to create a data or science story. Finally, Data Storytelling and Ethical Choices furnishes an ethical reasoning method that will help you protect the rights and choices of those you obtain the data from. Once you take this free course, you can enroll in any of the other three. If you complete all four courses, not only will you get a discount, but you might be able to transfer the credit to one of Purdue's online graduate courses.